Hey everyone, we've got a lot to cover today. First of all, I significantly improved the custom pen experience. You can add up to 10 custom pens to the right hand side toolbar. Plus, there's a highlighter pen. And on top of all of these, you no longer need to mess around with pen files. Now there's a pen configuration window where you can customize the pens to your heart's desire. Following the same logic, you can also pin your favorite scripts, be they downloaded scripts or scripts that you've created to the right hand side toolbar. And there's a new panning tool. It has a hand shape. This is from the Excolidraw.com team. And this allows you to move the canvas around. And finally, I added a color picker tool that allows you to pick colors that are not part of the color palette, as well as it allows you to pick colors from anywhere on your screen. So let's dive in. Let's start the demonstration with the pens. First of all, I need to underline that these pens are not supported by Excolidraw.com. This means that if you use these pens in Obsidian Excolidraw and export your file and then load it to Excolidraw.com, the file is going to load, but the pens are going to look different. Maybe in the future there's going to be support, but at the moment, the pens that you use here will only look like this in Obsidian X College Draw and nowhere else. For this reason, these pens are not enabled by default, but you need to go to plugin settings to turn them on. So how do you do that? You click here on settings, you choose Excolidraw, and you scroll down to the non excolidrawcom supported features right here. There are two non excolidrawcom supported features. One is the fourth font, but that is old business. And the other are the custom pens. You can choose to have between zero to 10 different custom pens. Each of the pens will come with a pre-configuration, but you can freely change those configurations. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I'm going to keep this setting on seven and we are going to now quickly demonstrate how this works. So let's say I'm creating a mind map and this is my central idea right here. And I want to highlight this central idea. In this case, I can pick the highlighter pen and I can simply just draw this circle around my idea. And when I complete the drawing, it is going to be a highlight color behind the idea. I could also, of course, and I'm going to show you this in just one second, also highlight the text. But now let's continue with a mind mapping pen. This is the thick to thin pen. And so I'm just going to draw this line here and we're going to have two ideas. So I'm going to do, draw these two lines here and I'm going to add this is going to be idea one and this is going to be idea two. And for example, I can highlight idea one and I can highlight idea one like this as well. So this also works. And even after I've highlighted idea one, I can change the color of the highlight, especially if I'm able to uh, select it. Yes, come on. If I'm able to select it, and so I'm going to change the highlight color in this case to this blue, and you can see that the color now is a different color highlight. We'll also look at how you can configure your custom pen to have a different default color in just one second. But let's first look at the different type of pens available. So the first pen is the default Excolidraw pen. So this is going to have exactly the same behavior as the normal Excolidraw pen. The trick here is, of course, you can set different default colors for this. We already looked at the highlighter pen. Then I have a fine tip pen. I think if you're handwriting in Excolidraw, this is probably the one that is going to be the most legible type of font. Then there's a fountain pen, which is going to be pressure sensitive and it's going to be 
thick or thin depending on the pressure you're applying. So this is uh, this type of pen. There's also a marker. So the marker is going to have, in this case, the pre-configured marker is going to have an outline color. And so you can just write text like this. I'm not going to complete this, but I am going to. So here we go. So you see, you can write text like this. Now I'm using a mouse, so the text is not that very nice. And we have two mind mapping pens. So this was the thick to thin. You've already seen that. I also have a thin to thick to thin line, which looks like this. So you can see that it starts thin, ends thin, and it's thick in the middle. So those are the pens available. Now, if you want to configure these pens, you can simply come here to the pen and let's say we're going to change the color of the highlighter pen. If I double click on the pen, then the configuration window will pop up and there's lots of configuration options here. I'm not going to go through all of these. You can explore these for yourself. But I want to show you that in this case, I can change the stroke color of this pen. And maybe this is now going to be this blue highlighter pen like this. And I'm actually going to copy the same color over here. And I'm going to just write it here. So this is, I think, the same color. So now, I have a background color and a stroke color and my, my highlighter pen has a different color. So if I close this and I use this highlighter pen, then you can see actually this looks more like green. I have this highlighter color highlighter pen now in action. Also, if I want to change the type of the pen, that's possible. So again, I'm going to double click maybe the default x color draw pen and here you can choose between the different presets and maybe i want this to be a highlighter pen as well but with a different color so maybe i want two different type of highlighters so i'm going to choose highlighter and i'm going to click apply and this going this is going to apply the default settings for the highlighter pen so you can see this is my default yellow highlighter I'm actually going to be happy with this. I'm going to close this. And now I have two highlighter pens. So this is one of my highlighter pens and this is my other highlighter pen. If I want to stop using the custom pen, I can also click here to, so you can see that this is now active. This has a background color. If I click on it again, the color will disappear and I'm back to the normal obsidian pen or normal Excolidraw pen. If I click this again, then I have the highlighter. But note as well that if I choose a different tool, so if it's not the free draw tool, but maybe it's a rectangle tool, then the pens are no longer selected and I can simply draw my rectangle. But when I click the free draw tool again, it will automatically switch back to the most recent pen and you can use the highlighter again. This is good because then this way you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So I can choose between maybe eight, which is the text. And then once I've entered my text, I can press seven and I can do my highlighting. Or of course, if I'm not highlighting, but instead I'm using a mind mapping pen, then it's an easy way to switch between tools. Now, maybe just a few words about the configuration so you understand. There are two different type of pens. Some pens, like for example the mind mapping pen, are such that when I switch back to the text, the text color and the color of the rectangles, etc. stay the same. But other pens, and I think the fine tip pen is such, we will find out soon, in case of the fine tip pen, the text color will change red. So it will reconfigure the color for all of the objects. So the way this works is here at the, the very first setting sets whether 
the stroke and fill color applies to all shapes, which is the case in this case, or if I turn this on, then it's for free draw only. And with this, you can configure how the pen is supposed to work. So in one case, it will affect all of the objects on your drawing. In the other case, it will only affect the free draw pen. This is useful because in some cases you actually want a pre-configured color that you can use for whatever shapes you're drawing. And in another case, like in case of the mind mapping pen, you actually want to switch between the color for your nodes and the color for your mind mapping lines. And so this is then what's possible with this setting. So moving on, this was about the custom pens. The other bit I want to show you are these buttons here, which are the scripts from the Obsidian Tools menu. So if I open this tools panel, you can see I have some user actions on top. By the way, the, these are at the moment not pinnable. So the utility actions, the export action, and the insert actions, those cannot be pinned to the side, but only the user scripts and the downloaded scripts can be pinned. So let's say I want to pin another action and I want to pin this bucket right here. So this is actually a very useful tool. It allows me to fill on closed shapes. So I'm going to show you how that works in a second. But the way you pin it is you need to click this and you need to hold uh, the button. You can also with your finger touch this for one and a half seconds. And when you do that, then after one and a half seconds, this button is added to the side. So you can see how I, I now have the bucket here and let me show you. So I'm going to draw this shape. And if now I come over here and press and select this, first of all, and then I use this button, then this is filled with color. The only problem is that the color is not visible, but you can see that this was filled with a color and the shape is not closed. So this is what this script does. Now, if you want to remove a script from here, you do the same as you added it. So you come over here and you click and hold for about one and a half seconds and the button will disappear and you get a message here that the button was removed. So that's about the custom actions and the ability to pin your favorite scripts to the right hand side. There's also this hand tool. If I click the hand tool, all this does is it allows me to pan the canvas. This works in the same way as the eraser. So if I switch between the hand tool and the current action, then uh, so if I choose the I press H for the hand tool and then I again press H, then I can switch between the tool and the hand tool. So you see I pressed H, I can move on, I press H again and I can draw again. This works very similar to the eraser. So if I press E, then I can erase a couple of items. And when I press E again, then I'm back to my pen and I can continue drawing. Now, finally, there are still two things I want to show you. One thing before we go to the color picker, I want to show you that you can see that I have these buttons on the right hand side, but maybe for you they're on the top. So let me show you one feature that I think is pretty useful. So I have something that's called the tray mode. And right now I'm using Excolidraw in tray mode. This is how I like to use Excolidraw. If I here click to toggle tray mode, then I can switch back to the default Excolidraw view, which means that I have the properties here on the left hand side always appear. And in this case, these custom tools are in the top row and not on the right hand side. If again, I come here to the menu and I toggle tray mode, then I get my actions here to the bottom 
and you can see I have all my buttons here on the right hand side. And then finally, what I want to show you is the color picker. So the way this works is here next to the palette chooser. So we have this button here that has been here all along uh, with Excolor Draw. Next to the palette chooser, now I have this button as well to choose a color. If I click this, then the standard color picker will come up. And this has two benefits. So let me show you the two benefits. One benefit is you have the freedom to choose whatever color you like. So you can see here, as I move around, the color of my background changes. Plus, which is also a very nice feature, I have this picker tool. If I click the picker, I can go on my screen and I can pick a specific item. This is extremely useful if you're embedding a picture and you want to color match your text to the image, then you can use this tool to achieve that. So this is about the color picker and I think this is a super useful uh, tool. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. That was a lot, but I think they are extremely useful features. Some of them I've been waiting for a very long time. For example, this color picker is something that I wanted for a long time, but also the ability to pin scripts and pens to the right hand side is super useful, especially if you're using Excolidraw on an iPad. This makes the whole process so much smoother and sm so much better. So hopefully you will also find this useful. And as always, if you find any issues with this, please go to GitHub and let me know your feedback. And otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Thank you.